Um, one thing I did want you to elaborate on, Mike, was we we're talking about how Bone Nickel got into the contender series of basically two amateur fights and one pro fight. And you kind of elaborated that offline. I thought it was interesting. Maybe you could expand on that. Well, like Miguel had said, you don't really know what a person's made of when they've only got a, a couple fights, especially on the amateur side. But, but somebody like Bo Nickel, financially speaking, would be a nightmare to find an opponent for. It's the type of situation where Nickel might have to fight for free in order to put somebody on his record because you just couldn't afford to pay both. And with his wrestling pedigree, no matter where you put him in the country, the wrestling community is going to come support him and, 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 and see him. Obviously, Pennsylvania would be the ideal spot uh, with CFFC you know, to put him on the card, but he'd be a nightmare, like a, a financial nightmare to deal with, just based on trying to convince somebody to step in there with him. Now, Todd, I think you know something, a little something about people that have to fight for free in order to, get the record right right i mean i don't know if you want to elaborate on that obviously but you know moda who's another prospect obviously you guys are familiar with that gabriel, story gabriel moda oh carlos oh carlos moda yeah <clears throat> you know and same thing he had difficulty finding opponents now they did find him when he's 